the game looks so highly detailed that it's kind of crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Switchy and today we are going to be reviewing a game uh, called Motor Madness. Now this game has been in alpha for the longest time and just a few updates back it came into beta stage which is free for everyone to play. So this is the dealership. The dealership looks really nice. Like the dealership looks so good. Probably one of the best looking dealerships in the entire Roblox car games industry. And you walk up here and you go into this blue circle. It's not a circle, it's a semicircle. You go over here and you press enter. And then all of the cars you will see will spawn here. Now the thing which separates this game from the other racing games is that you can have cash in this game but it's not for buying new cars you buy new cars through ranks or you obtain them through new ranks not buy you can obtain these cars through ranks like it says here level needed is three and it shows your current level here so i'm level nine so i have all the cars till level nine let me show this like this is level seven and I'm level 9 so I have the Capricorn 1700 but if I go one more step and go with the Playwood XTX it says unlock this car by reaching level 10 so for now I can only drive the Capricorn so you just drive around the map get miles which helps you to upgrade and then you can get better cars anyways let's have a look at this new map really quickly the map is really big for a Roblox game. The game looks so highly detailed that it's kind of crazy. The auto shop is very reminiscent of the original Need for Speed Most Wanted. Let me just try to go and yeah, it says here press enter to customize your car. I press enter, it takes me into the auto shop, and now here's the juicy part. Look at the UI. Does this UI remind you of something? Yes, this is the exact UI you find in Most Wanted. And if I click on anything, it just pans the camera around. Like, it's so highly detailed in that thing. Front attachment. Like, look, the camera just goes back and forth. It's just so cool. I like this front attachment, so I will add it to car. You press enter, it gets added to the car. Now, when you try to leave, it's gonna say, oh, you have this front attachment uh, in your car. Do you want to buy this? If you press checkout, then yeah, you will buy this. It's, you say yes and yeah. Then there are performance parts, which help to increase your, well, performance. Uh, there are a lot of like force induction, brakes, tires, nitrous, transmission, engine. Here's the map. The map still looks very incomplete, like these roads. There's nothing to them, I feel. Like, there should be at least street lights or something. But yeah, this game is kind of fun. It gives you a more open world feel than what most racing games offer you. Oh, wait, I'm here at the motor speedway. This is like a race track. More like an oval for NASCAR stuff. And this, this is a pretty, an unnoticed place in this map. Is this oval no one seems to know about this i feel most of the people are there at the races oh yeah and by the way the races are there in this game i'll show that in just a sec but first let me just do a lap of the place it's not that big it's really just small and then there you go that's a lap of the place there's a race right over here i don't think i'll be able to join this one because there are no players i'll try to invite the server and yes, you can invite the server like in Vehicle Simulator. Which is actually pretty nice. Because you invite the server and then many people start joining in spite, instead of you waiting forever. And I'm ready, let's race this Mustang dude. Let's go. Oh god, this thing is so slow. 
Yeah, it's a truck. What do you expect? It's really slow. Anyways, let me just complete this race and try to beat this Mustang. Oh, he crashed, he crashed, he crashed, he crashed, he crashed. Good job. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. I could have won that. I could have had it. I just got stuck on that street sign. I'll still try to beat this dude. I don't know if I can actually beat this dude. There's no way I can beat this dude, can I? Oh yeah, by the way, this game has a pretty unique feature. It's cruise control. Yeah, cruise control in a racing game. You see these cruise control stuff in like Greenville and other role playing games, but no, you see it in this hardcore looking racing game. By the way, the cruise control feature was not present in the origin most wanted. They just implemented this because this looks cool. That's gonna do it for today guys. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to slap a like. Maybe even subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.